Good afternoon. I'm going to show you how to set up Civic Auth in a brand new Next.js project. If you watched in our previous videos, we showed you how to set up Next.js using manual step-by-steps. -step. I'm going to show you how we created an Allen assisted prompt that you can just paste into Cursor or Claude Code, and it'll set up everything for you. This is hot off the press. It hasn't been released. So I'm excited to share this with you. So let's get going without further ado. Before we go to auth.civic.com, let's go to the documentation. And you'll notice there is this new tab called LLM Assisted. Let's go to this specific page and it's going to show us a prompt. That's exactly what we need to do. So before doing that, let's go set up a brand new project. Let's go and create latest. And we'll set up a brand new project with all the defaults. While that's installing, let's go back to the documentation, copy the prompt, fill in the project context details, and then paste it into the AI assistant and the assistant will fetch the documentation and know exactly how to do it. We can just paste in the prompt and the LLM should tell us and ask us for that specific pieces of information. So let's go into CD My app. Let's open this in cursor and take the prompt and paste it in. But the first things first, let's just show it is up and running. Come back to our application docs, check this prompt. And while that's running, let's first verify everything's working correctly. Everything's running. We can paste in this prompt into a brand new chat. Don't have to worry about the details. The LLM will take these instructions. It's going to fetch our documentation. It's going to ask for our client ID. So it wants to fetch the documentation, which we let it do. Now it's got all the context and it can tell us, it can know exactly how to set up this project. <clears throat> so it's setting up a plan, making sure the plan is right. And it will tell you exactly what it's going to do. It's going to set up the dependency first, which we ask it to do. Each of these steps in the previous videos we had to do manually. We're currently doing that step by step and the LLM is acting like some sort of wizard. Let's get going. Now it's going to set up the config and it should ask for our client ID. Okay. So that has been set up. And now it's going to create the middleware for us. If you go through the documentation, you will see these steps are defined exactly how the LLM is processing it. So if it runs into issues because it's non-deterministic, you can go to the docs and do the manual setup. But we're running this through multiple phases with multiple people. So we really don't expect you to run into issues. But if you do, we'd really appreciate the feedback. So it's going to add authentication components and the user button. So you'll notice here in the next config, it's asking for my client ID. We are going to go to auth.civic.com and grab that. And we will go to integration steps. I want to specifically choose my demo app. And once I click my demo app, I can grab my client ID here and just paste it and replace it in here. Great. I'm not going to do a PNPM run build. I'm just going to run PNPM run dev, which we didn't even have to stop and rerun again. And let's make sure everything's working as is. Previously, I was running on localhost a different app and I was already logged in. So if I log out and sign back in, let's set up everything for me. And you'll see that everything has been set up for me and I'm logged in. So I didn't have to run any manual code 